Hey YouTubers, what are you guys? Zevadar here. How are you guys doing today? Today we bring up another fantastic Battlefront video. I know guys, the last Battlefront videos we uploaded were actually from the beta. But this time guys, we're going over how to earn a lot of credits in a very, very fast and timely manner. So, if you guys go to the hero battles in uh, the uh, game, not multiplayer, it's single player and you play against AI. And uh, you can choose either between battles or hero battles. And uh, hero battles, obviously, are a lot more fun because you could be uh, Jenga Fad, Darth Vader, the Emperor, or on the other side, you'd be Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, and Princess Leia. Guys, so much fun. Like, literally, like, I've been playing this a lot, even though I've already gotten the stars and already got the credits from it. But literally, guys, from five minutes of playing this game, literally, I think this gameplay is less than five minutes long. No joke. And um, from that, I earned about 800 credits just right off the bat. And there's four or five different maps you can play the hero battle on. So once you earn the stars and get the uh, credit uh, you know, value, if you will, then you guys can just go to the different maps and grab all the credits from that as well. And guys, there is another star that is worth, I believe, uh, I think 400 credits uh, for achieving all, or sorry, collecting all the collectibles on each map. And yes, I will be making a video for each map on the hero battles and the regular battles so you guys know where to find all the collectibles and earn those extra 400 credits per map. So guys, Trust me, this is a super fast and super easy way to earn a bunch of credits. Obviously, there's other ways in Walker Assault and other game modes, but this right here is just a whole lot of fun because, you know, literally, if you're a Jenga Fett, you guys can fly around the map firing off rockets and flamethrowers, and, you know, it's just a lot of fun, and like I said, you know, I earned 800 credits in four minutes. It's crazy. You know, Walker Assault takes at least 20 minutes, like a whole game. And, uh, you know, you don't even, you might not even earn 800 credits. Uh, so, definitely, if you guys haven't done these already, definitely, I recommend going ahead and doing those. Uh, it just, it gives you so many credits if you do them all. Um, so that you have uh, Tatooine, which is the one we're playing on. Uh, there's one on Hoth, there's one on Endor, and Sullust. Uh, so, those are all really cool maps as well. And, you know, obviously, they each have their own unique, uh, you know, environments. So, you might want to choose someone besides Jenga Fett. I personally choose usually Jenga Fett. Uh, sorry, Boba Fett. This is Boba Fett. Jenga Fett's his father. Uh, Boba Fett. Uh, I use that Boba Fett for his uh, jetpack. Because with his jetpack, you guys can get from literally across the map very easily. You can snipe people with his gun. Whereas if you're Darth Vader or the Emperor or, you know, actually anyone on the uh, Rebel side, you have to, you know, run across the map. And of course, Luke Skywalker and the Emperor have, uh, you know, kind of like that first run, uh, that boost, if you will. And, uh, you know, that, that is fine, but uh, the jetpack, it's just, it's just so much better. You, you know, you can get a huge line of sight on, like, the enemies as they're spawning in, especially in these missions. And, uh, you know, it's just it's just something that you just can't look over. Um, and, and like I said, you know, you can snipe people from across the map, literally right off the, uh, the map, right off the map, right off the bat on the map. There you go. Uh, I'm flying across the map, shooting off missiles and flamethrowers and stuff. And it's just a super easy way to make sure that you guys can get these 800 credits within the 5 minutes or whatever it is. Obviously, these game modes are not timed, so I'm not really worried about that. But the game does award you if you do finish the uh, mission under, you know, 5 minutes or 6 or 8, depending on uh, the actual mission itself. So, uh, you know, if you're on Hoth, you know, I think it's like 5 minutes or something. And then, you know, if you're on Endor, I think it's 8 Whatever it may be, you know, the time specifics are for uh, each map. And if you guys do complete it, you guys get a nice little uh, credit bonus. So you guys will see as this game is wrapping up, again, you guys just absolutely go to town. This is also a great way to practice with the heroes and the villains. I, I'm sorry guys about that. Uh, but, you know, it's a great way to practice with the heroes and the villains. So once you do jump into multiplayer, maybe heroes versus villains or uh, hero assaults, uh, you guys are, uh, you know, masters, if you will. And so you guys can see here, you know, uh, I have 100 points with uh, 32 kills, 4 headshots, and 2 deaths. A pretty good stat sheet if I, you know, if I can say so myself. And uh, then we'll get awarded the credits here, as well as a couple trophies. Yes, yeah, so you guys do get a couple trophies. I, uh, I did all these missions on the Xbox, and then I switched over to the PlayStation and recorded those for you guys. So that's why you guys see me doing this for the first time, if you will. And uh, yeah, feel free to add me on PSN if you guys want, and uh, I'll definitely be able to play with you guys. I'm loving Battlefront. There will be so many more Battlefront videos coming out, and I cannot wait to see what we can do with this game. Anyway guys, top box is the previous video, which is a Halo 5 Skull Guide. Again, I apologize guys, my phone is going off the chain. Um, but anyway, so, my box is a mystery video. Like always, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Have a great day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.